Um, nice in instrument panel, cockpit. Very, very nice. Well done. Um, we'll go in. Again, I haven't done anything here. So let's see if we can. Yep. Just like free wing, everything's precise. I mean, look at that hog. Oh, yeah. All right. I wonder if they have these in Slovenia. Pilot Robert, Captain Blas over there. Maybe they could get a hold of Motion RC. Here is the elevator section. Very, very nice. Again, uh, servos installed, linkages installed. Very, very nice. Everything's neatly labeled. Elevator, elevator. Very nice. I mean, this thing is packaged very, very well. I think my wife would be impressed on how well packaged this thing is. I, and she can pack too, but this thing is really well packed. Okay. Big old rudders. Uh, rudder half right here. Here's the other half. Very, very nice. Again, servos installed, uh, ball linkages installed. Uh, looks like there's carbon fiber su support in there. Very cool. All right. And it goes there. These things fit in there, one way or no way. <laughs> it's amazing. They have this thing really figured out and this this box was I could ship my dog in this box that it came in today I mean it's just immense okay here's a a gun pod really cool here's another another pylon okay and you could see like uh, my f-16 the uh, missiles and all at the they go right on there, right on the rails, and the pods. And the more you look, the more you see here. A couple drop tanks. Here's the uh, hardware package with the linkages, uh, the screws. Um, the fins that go on the uh, the bottom uh, of the aircraft, and some some glue. I do have foam tack. I do prefer the foam tack, and uh, for 600 bucks, I'm not going to risk it. Although I'm sure this glue is fine, um, I'm going to be using my foam tack. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at this. Oh man, that's sweet. More missiles. I mean, I have pretty big hands too, and you see these are very, very scale missiles. Um, they look like AMRAMs, or I'm not sure if they're an AMRAM or Sidewinder, <clears throat> but um, they appear to be one of those two. Again, um, very well packaged in there. Very well done. Look at that. Very nice. Nice finish to them. I mean, we have, uh, there's, there's, uh, there's drop tanks, there's, there's, uh, missile pods, there's, there's missiles, there's a, there's a, another external cannon, looks like rockets. Um, all kinds of cool ordnance. <clears throat> that you could put on there um, this is another looks like another missile rail double rail right there um, I'm pretty sure this is I'm not sure exactly which way it goes but um, a lot of free wing just like that a lot of free wing uh, jets I I have the the 70 millimeter f-16 see that two slots Okay, put it in the big section, push back. And there's uh, your AMRAMs or Sidewinders. Um, 
that go right onto the uh, the belly right there. Very, very nice. Okay. I'm going to take my time. I, I believe I'm going to build this this plane first and then I'll I'll paint it up. And that's uh, that's my plan. Um, build it, make sure all the uh, surfaces are working, all that, and then uh, then I'll paint it up. So really, really stoked I'm like a kid in a candy store, I guess you could say. Uh, uh, if you want to show off at your field, <laughs> just buy yourself an A10, man. This thing's wicked cool. It's uh, huge. I saw it at the uh, AMA Model Expo East over there. I know our, our uh, AMA Vice President Eric was over there. And uh, tons and tons of good people there. Great exhibit. They had one that was really scaled out over there. Um, very, very cool. And again, I was just going to show you here. Um, and excellent job. These are the plugins for the wings right there. You can see. They take so much pride in their products free wing uh, uh, this is my third or fourth free wing edf and i'll tell you what i mean they're they're not cheap but nothing is nowadays but they are very very well constructed the panel lines the nav lights the wing tip lights uh the the cockpit fuselage and everything feels heavy heavy duty um reinforced uh, the spars um just super super stoked um, to get this bird all painted up um, and in the air and hopefully next month or so I'm not sure I think this one is the fuselage of course I put the canopy on there so it's probably not going to fit in there correctly but I do plan on putting putting this big old bird together very very soon here so Thank you for uh, joining us today and the unboxing of the A10 Thunderbolt 2. Again, super, super stoked about it. Look at the dims on it. <laughs> and uh, I'll keep you posted on uh, the paint camo scheme and the first run up and, and all that stuff. Um, I'm running the... Uh, 6S 4500 packs. I believe they're 45C rated. And uh, can't wait to put this bird together, get it painted, and gonna cross my <laughs> fingers and all that on the maiden. So, all right. Thank you again for joining us today. RC Captain Nick Glorioso here in New York State. Wishing you the best. Grease them landings. We'll see you next time on the tube. Oh, yeah. Pilot Robert, Captain Bloss, get yourself an A-10 Thunderbolt too. Oh yeah.